<laughs> yeah. Mm. Yep. You are no chick chaser. You are gay. We've all had those people that we were attracted to at some point or another. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Some of us had the balls to do the brave thing to run away. Some of us had the stupid idea of running directly into danger. It's a danger we all fear. Why are you gay? That fiery fear fear that makes you fear. The fear of rejection. I grow up, I'm going to marry her. No! Now you listen to me. I don't like you. I never liked you. And the only reason I gave you that stupid Valentine is because nobody else would. Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Hey, that's fucked up. Except one. There's one man towering above all men, ready to let his charisma spread like an STD. Hit him with the shampoo. Johnny motherfucking Bravo. So swell. Tell me about it. No, I mean really, tell me more about it. Ooh. Mine is mine, you loosey goosey. <laughs> he couldn't exist today, which is wild because he just gets girl bossed in his ass Good. beat throughout the show. <laughs> Though he hits different when you get older. If you're not initiated, Johnny Bravo is a show about a dude that's feeling himself around the clock. I'm gonna come. He's Kanye, but with a firmer grasp on reality. Now what? He spends his time around town or just anywhere in the world trying to pick up girls. So this is how the process goes. He commences the Riz sequence. And after that masterful Riz sequence, he moves on to the next target. And sure, he treats women like objects. But that's not the point. <laughs> Let me explain. Johnny Bravo is a dog. <laughs> but that's because he's got that dog in him. After getting rejected, after getting combo breaker, he gets right back up. Bro's like an anime protagonist. People throw in the towel for far less. I can't entirely blame them because I get sick of losing too. That shit gets old. People throw in the towel before they even do anything. We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. So how the fuck does he do it? Bro be coming back from rejection after rejection. It slides right off of him. He's like a drunken zen master of rejection. See? Or he's just stupid. Ow. I meant to do that. But what can you take away from this? You need to give a shit about yourself. And I know you're probably asking. Casual. How the fuck do I give a shit about myself? Really, it's just something that you're just gonna have to work on over time. If you can't say anything else about this man, this Adonis, he loves himself unconditionally. Yeah. Hey, who's that handsome guy? Hello, 911 emergency. There's a handsome guy in my house. Oh, wait a second, cancel that. It's only me. You just committed a crime and I'm taking- If you told him to go fuck yourself, I bet he's done that. Maybe you should do that too. Well, not fuck yourself, but well, maybe if you're into that type of thing. It's good stress relief, but it's also much easier to love yourself if you know your worth. It's really a balancing act. Don't become a narcissistic dickhead. Don't expect to have your ass kissed. Anyways, let's reduce your rejection chances. There's one episode that comes to mind. Also, shout outs to the person watching this. You made it this far, showing that you don't have the attention span of a goldfish snack, so feel free to hit that sub button. Johnny eventually comes across this gnome in a suit that successfully gets a girl's number. But this guy coaches Johnny about his approach to women. Me with my pregnancy, I'm better than you. And a lot of it's pretty sensible stuff. Be sensitive, but not in like a wimpy sense. You drive like an old bitch. But be confident. Unless they watch a lot of anime, chances are they won't be into the shy guy. <laughs> Though they may be into the shy girl, which, uh, hmm. Consider devaluing yourself a bit. Don't try to floss and flex too hard. Bring yourself back down to earth so you're more relatable. Show a slight bit of vulnerability. That way it relieves some of the tension. It's like a steam valve, minus the seemingly endless sea of asset flips and softcore hentai games. Man, what a degenerate website. I cannot believe that so many people buy all these horny games. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Gotta bookmark that. Don't judge me. Stop judging me. Another thing that you could do, an observation, be interested in people. Only be into people that vibe with you. And consider expressing creativity. Don't rely too much on one thing. Just committed a crime and I Bonus points if it's the right situation for it. Next thing, manners. Make sure you got some goddamn manners. Don't be a shitbag. Why am I toxic? Unless they're shitty to you, which 
if they are shitty to you. Release the hounds. You should also be sincere. Sincerely. Be honest with yourself and everyone around you, unless you're being interrogated. Think about what you really want. But sometimes you just gotta get your rocks off, you know? And that's fine. Don't let anyone pretend that they're levitating above everyone else because they want to lie about mission. Just committed a crime and I'm- And of course, work on your appearance. Uh, I look like a jackass. Don't smell like sewage crust. Don't look like sewage crust. When in doubt, gym it out. Eat better. Cut the sugar and carbs so you don't have a volcano face. A lot of this is very sensible, but like old folks pissing, it really all depends. Because despite all this, there's a seemingly endless amount of things that can get you rejected, which is pretty fucked. Location. Timing. I'm going to die! How you look. What made them the person that they are at the time that they met you. The mentality of the person you don't know if they think rationally or not. Or are they mentally compromised? Or are they mentally untouchable? Damn, why the fuck you copying my characters, copying my name, and you suck, and you're fucking lagging? Get the fuck out of my room! Fuck! But nobody on Earth bats at the 100%, so you likely will get rejected. Also, at the end of this episode where the guy gives Johnny dating advice, he was also being fake the whole time. Well, you know, Johnny, you've got to act polite, thoughtful, and considerate. But no one ever said you gotta mean it. Heck, I'd tell a girl I could turn lead into gold if it'd get her to date me. You lying ass bitch. And so basically the moral of the story? Fake it till you make it. Well, I wouldn't say do this, but hey, it's up to you. Faking it makes me tired, but jokes on you, I'm always tired. So, how to deal with inevitable rejection. The way that Johnny deals with rejection is probably one of the most slept on pieces of art. I have that effect on women, you know. Like shit's important because getting rejected be having people going through a midlife crisis at the age of 23. You see this guy? He's actually 19. You know how much I sacrificed? You see, rejection is really all about how you take it. Or like Bravo, he doesn't care. He is a phase. He just moves on immediately. It's not the end. Like, you got this. You see how he bounces back from it? If they reject you, they saving you the trouble. If you get rejected, you can bounce back from it immediately. There's no seething, no salty, no hatred. <laughs> about it this man takes more L's than there are stars in the sky and yet he's completely unfazed no villain arc no some people won't like you for things that you can't help some people won't date people shorter than six foot some are racist in preference is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bit some will look for the smallest thing to reject you on like if you enjoy playing video games on the lowest difficulty setting but during Spongebob's wind-up animation for bowling he walks forward. Know your worth, kings and queens. I'm gonna and if you don't, work to understand and build up your self-worth. Don't tie it to people rejecting you. Why, you ask? Because fuck them, that's why. If they don't like you, you don't need them. Or it should be put on any pedestal. They take dumps just like you. Get a good support system. Also, build up your self-esteem. Take it, accept it, and grow past it. Give them a reason to think, oh shit, I may have fucked up. Now you see something? You know you don't fucked up, right? So, conclusion time. Y'all got this. Son of a bitch. Focus on yourself. Let rejection slide off of you, like Johnny Bravo. Or maybe you don't got this. You see, men are terrible. Women are terrible. None of them will love you the way that I do. I'm all that you have. Because see, nobody else is going to find you attractive. But you're all attractive to me. If you're above the age of 18. I'm sorry, Japan. And the South. It's okay. You can stay right here with me. Subscribe to me. Liking my videos. You can be my subs. Forever. And I'll be the Dom. Okay, maybe not. <laughs>